so we pick off from where we left off so we are going to learn how to create a project as our first lesson in this series so don't be left behind you really need to follow this because i'm going to teach almost all the basics intermediate and advanced techniques that you can implement in your apps from simple layout designing logins or uh, almost uh, about four types of login we can have google login phone login uh, email login anonymous where we have passwordless login then we're also going to do dynamic links we play around with third party libraries and many more yeah so i've talked too much let's get busy first thing you want to do is have your sketchware ide ready then have dev tools ready so you can download sketchware from my blog i'll leave the link in the description for this development you need dev tools so you can go to play store and download dev tools you'll find it it looks like this so let's begin open your sketchware sometimes when you're opening sketchware you find it takes too long on this loading screen simply turn off your data and once you do that you find it goes through yeah because it tries to check for internet and connect to their servers but their servers are down so here we are in sketchware interesting ide you can always develop on the go wherever you are on a bus on a car plane yeah so your development keeps on going that's one of the advantages as compared to your android studio and the other pc based ides so to create our first project since i didn't get any name in the comment section of my last video so let's call this up crn so to create the app just click on the plus sign then you have to enter your app name there give your app a name then when you click on advanced settings you can apply your theme style so if you want insights you can click on the question mark and it will show you where each of these apply so i want my accent to be light blue then primary color can be blue primary dark i want the same you can read around color schemes for material design guidelines okay so once you're done hit create app this creates a project and opens it so we are done with creation of the project in the next tutorial we're going to create our splash page